okay so the, this one is the uh, our error correction model that we have just developed education is the dependent variable now the question is that how is the how how is this model from the statistical point of view that that you want to check now that is called diagnostic checking so in this model the r square is not that high it is only 55.35 percent but it is not that low also but at least it is not that high that means the data uh, data are not fitted properly or the model is not fitted nicely but the good thing is that F statistics is significant you can see the p-value is 1.2 percent meaning that all the independent variables jointly influence the dependent variable which is education then we check about residual uh, of this model because this model must have residual so uh, we, we check about the residual I go to view residual diagnostic first I check heteroscedasticity and here suppose I choose arch test right and I take 2 lag number of lags 2 and it is the outcome of the arch statistics observed r square and corresponding p value how much is the p value 92.57 percent which is more than 5 percent so we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis is there is no arch effect and which is desirable so we are happy about it that this model do not have any arch effect okay then i talk about residual diagnostic again so we check about serial correlations suppose here i choose lag 2 i press okay so it is the Bruce Godfrey serial correlation test observed R square and corresponding p value how much is the p value 77.08 percent which is more than 5 percent meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis and what is our null hypothesis null hypothesis is that residuals are not serially correlated which is desirable for a good regression model so, but here we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that for this model residuals are uh, 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 that for this model uh, residuals are not serially correlated so that is a good sign for this model because residuals are not serially correlated okay then we check uh, again whether the residuals are normally distributed or not so I go to histogram right and here is the Jarkabera statistics and corresponding p-value p-value is very small less than 5 percent so we can reject null hypothesis and accept alternative hypothesis and what is our alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is 
the residuals are not normal. I am telling again, alternative hypothesis is residuals are not normal. So, and here, what is the problem here? The problem here is that residuals are not normal. So, that is a problem now. But, but uh, many, uh, many statisticians uh, tells that, many, many, many person tells that, that although the residuals are, are not normal, but still we can accept the model. So, here we are accepting the model. Okay, what is happening here for this model? I am telling as a gist that R squared is not that high. If statistics is significant, there is no serial correlation, there is no arch effect, but residuals are not normally distributed. So, that is the only bad sign. And, uh, and what is the op uh, what was the hypothesis of this uh, whole model? Uh, hypothesis was uh, so investment causes GDP and GDP causes education rate and 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 in the in the previous model we have we, we have seen that investment causes GDP that we have already seen and in the next model we have seen that GDP causes education rate. So, our hypothesis is fulfilled and here actually investment can cause education through a channel. What is the channel? the channel is the GDP. So, through, G through, through the channel of GDP, investment can cause education in the short run and that is the issue in the transmission channel in VECM model.